we're going to look at multiplying and dividing rational expressions. And the phrase rational expressions, rational means ratio, so we can usually think of this as being a fraction, although it's not required to be a fraction, most commonly it will be. And it'll be a fraction that involves some polynomials, and so that's what our phrase, again, rational expressions, is going to point us towards. So we see here we've got two polynomials, two polynomial fractions, and they are divided. And so we can see here for the instructions for division, we're going to keep the first fraction the same, and then change our division symbol to multiplication, and finally we'll flip the second fraction. And as I'm doing this procedure, I would also like to factor each of these expressions so that we can see what factors are common and eventually cancel them. So as I look at the first fraction, I keep it, but I'm factoring the numerator. And this is a trinomial, so it'll factor into two binomials. I have x's in the front. I see there's a plus sign here, so that indicates that my signs will be the same. And because there's a plus sign here, both will be positive. So I'm looking for factors that have the same signs. That means the middle number will be a sum. Factors of 10 with a sum of 7 are 5 times 2. So again, multiplying to get 10 and adding to get 7. So that's my numerator. And then the denominator of that first fraction, the two terms have a common factor of 3, which I'll pull to the front. And that leaves us with x plus 2. Now moving on to the second fraction, I will change the division symbol to a multiplication. And I'll flip the second fraction. So the 6x minus 6 will go to the top. But as I'm rewriting it, I'll pull out that common factor of 6, which is common to both the 6x and also the negative 6. And so I've got an x in the front, and then minus, and 6 divided by 6 gives us 1. So that's my numerator, which I have gotten from the bottom. And now this will go to the denominator, and that trinomial will factor into two binomials. But this time, the sign on the third term is negative, which means that the signs of the two binomials will be opposites. One will be positive, one will be negative. And so with my x's in front, I need to find two factors of 15 that give me a difference of 2. And those will be 5 and 3. And since it's a positive 2, the larger the 5, will go with the positive, and then the uh, 3 will go with the negative. Now I'm ready to see if I can reduce before I actually combine the terms. So realize that in between every one of these sets of parentheses, as well as in this place here, there are the operation is multiplication. So this is all multiplied for factors the 3, the x plus 2, x plus 5, the x minus 3, those are all multiplied, and in the numerator, the x plus 5, x plus 2, 6, and x minus 1. These are all multiplied. So we are allowed to cancel. So I can cancel the factors x plus 2, and I can also cancel the factors x plus 5, and I can even cancel the factors 6 and 3. So dividing 6 by 3, I end up with a remaining factor of 2, 3 divided by 3 only leaves me with a factor of 1. So when I consolidate everything in the numerator, the only factors that remain are 2, and then this binomial factor, x minus 1. In the denominator, the 1, and this is also reduced to 1, essentially x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 reduces to 1, and uh, the x plus 5 is gone, so the only factor that remains is this binomial, x minus 3. And you are permitted to leave your expression looking like this in factored form, but if you prefer to distribute the 2, you can also write this as 2x minus, and then 2 multiplied by 1 gives me a uh, negative 2, divided by x minus 3.